Hi guys, welcome to another Chama Valley Maths tutorial. It's Mr. Gordon here. We're going to be looking at expanding brackets and in particular we're going to be looking at expanding three brackets because that is the new content um, on our GCSE, doing three brackets now instead of just two. But to be able to do three, I want to start by looking at uh, methods that we use for expanding two brackets. These are the two most popular that I've seen. Um, there are others out there, of course. But the method I want to focus on today is the, using the grid method. All right, so I want to look, do a couple of examples at using the grid method for expanding two brackets, and then we can use um, the grid for doing three brackets. So let's have a look at how you would use the grid method when you're doing double brackets. So the first example, I just want to talk about how you set up each question. So with this first example here, you've got x plus 3 in the first bracket. The x would go in the first box along the top and the plus 3 goes in the second box. And in the column here, I'd use the, um, the first box for the x and the second box for the plus 5. This example, I've put some minus numbers in because it's important to know that the sign is in front of the number that, that it belongs to. So you put the x in the first box, but minus 6 would go in the second box here x in the first box on the column and then minus 6 in the bottom box here. The last example is just in case you have um, questions where you have 2x or some number of x's in the front of your bracket. So you take the 2x as one term. So 2x would go in the first box here and then the plus 3 in the second box. The 3x would go in the first box in the column and the minus 2 would go in the bottom. So the setup when you've done it looks like this. Okay, so take a bit of time to have a look at that. That's, I've just filled in the boxes like I said I would, taking the signs with the numbers and making sure I treat the 2x as one term and the 3x as one term. Now all you've got to do is multiply things together and start filling out the boxes basically. So let's start, do, start doing that. Um, the first box on this question is made by multiplying together the x and the x. Now when you time something by itself, it gets squared, so the first box is just going to be x squared. x times x is x squared. The second box, you've got plus 3 times x, so 3 lots of x is going to be 3x. This, the box down here is made from the x times the 5, so 5 lots of x is going to be 5x. You might see some people write x5, but it's more conventional, it's more normal to put the number first, and it makes it easier when you come to simplify at the end if you have everything in the same order each time. The final box is made by, and you have to be very careful doing the final box, lots of mistakes are made in the final box. Remember, you are multiplying things together. So when you see a plus 3 and a plus 5, you're doing plus 3 times plus 5. We're not adding them together. So a positive number times a positive number equals a positive. So the answer would just be 3 times 5, which is 15. Let's move on to filling out the second box. Again, we've got x times x, so we know that already that that's going to be x squared. We've got some minus numbers now. So minus 6 times x, well, 6 lots of x would be 6x. So minus 6 lots of x is just going to be minus 6x. And similarly, in the bottom box here, x times, sorry, x times minus 4. Is going to be minus 4x and in the final box remember again we are multiplying things together so minus 6 times minus 4 is going to be a positive result so it'll be plus 24 if you are not familiar with your negative um, number rules go and find them out okay make sure you're confident because you need them when you're doing this topic and many others the final one um, I've included this example on purpose because there is a mistake that is often made in the first box. I've been talking about mistakes happening in the last box on each question, but on this one, you've got to be careful when you're doing the first box. 2x times 3x. So 2 times 3 is 6, but then x times x is x squared. So you must remember that it's 6x squared and not 6x, which a lot of people put in. They forget to square the x's. So the second box is plus 3 times 3x. Well, 3 threes are 9, so that's going to be 9 lots of x. The bottom box is 2x times minus 2, which is going to be minus 4x. And the last one again, remember you're multiplying, so 3 times a minus 2 
Well, a positive times a negative is a negative, so it'd be minus six. Once you've filled out the boxes, in a question, you've just got to, to work out the final answer, you've got to simplify all the parts that you just filled out. So the four boxes that we've got here, we need to see what simplifies. Now, the only things that are going to simplify are the, are the like terms, the things that are the same. And x squareds are not the same as x's. So we've got this x here, and we've also got this one down here. So these are the same terms. 3x and 5x can be added together to make 8x. And then the 15, well, that doesn't simplify with any of the x's. Numbers won't mix with the x's or the x squareds, okay? So let me just grab this, these answers, and we'll, we'll go through... I'll put the answers underneath and we can go through how they are made. So I'll just grab that, take you to the next section. So let's bring these down here. So the answers are underneath and I've put in red the bits that have changed. So you can see that on the first example, I have combined the 3x and the 5x to get the 8x in the middle. The 15 is here and the x squared is just written there. So that's my final um, solution. So that's a nice quadratic there. The second example, we've got, uh, again, x, some x squared, some x's, and some numbers. Now, the x's, we just said, these are the things that will go together. Finding it very difficult to highlight these neatly. So, minus 6x, minus 4x. Well, when you put minus 6 and minus 4 together, you get minus 10x in the middle. So, it'd be x squared, minus 10x, plus 24. And the last one, again, same pattern here. We've got some x's that are going to be simplified together. The x squareds have no other x squareds to be added to, and the numbers don't have any other numbers to be added to. So we've got 9x, take away 4x, which will leave us with a positive 5x in the middle. All right, so that's the final solution to that question there. Right then, so that's double brackets. That's how you use the grid method for double brackets. Let's move on to doing triple brackets. I did say we were going to move, be moving on to uh, triple brackets, but do you know what? It's more important to have a bit of practice first. So here are some practice questions for you. Pause the video, have a go at filling them out. If you downloaded the free worksheet, then they'll already be on there for you. Um, if you if you want to know where the worksheet is, see the link in the description, um, and I'll go through the solutions in a second. Right then, hopefully you've had a go at those. Let's have a look if you got those correct. So these are the solutions. Okay, hopefully all of that matches up with what you've got, and we're ready to move on to triple brackets. So let's have a look. Using this method, to expand three brackets. Now, here are the three brackets that I'm expanding at the top here. And the method that I've set out for you is um, expand the first two brackets using the grid method in the normal way. And then use your answer to expand the third bracket, okay? So let's start with the first two brackets. Let's put them into our normal grid method and then work out the answer and see what we get. So filling out the, uh, the grid method in the normal fashion. Start multiplying things together, and then we can populate this with the answers. So if we've done it correctly, x times x is x squared, 2 times x is 2x, and 3 times x is 3x, 2 times 3 is 6. We should be familiar with that from the first part of the video. So the answer to that is going to obviously give us um, x squared plus 5x uh, plus 6 when we combine the 3x and the 2x to give a simplified result. We then use that answer in our second part. So we take the answer from expanding the first two brackets and then we use that to multiply the third bracket. So it's almost like we've got three terms now in the first bracket. Imagine this red box is like a bracket and we're going to times it with the final and third bracket. So the way we would set this out is we would have a slightly bigger grid because we've got three things in our bracket now. So we'd have x squared here the 5x would go there, and the 6 goes in that box. And we'd only need two squares going downwards, because that's where our, our final bracket goes, the x and the 4. So x and the plus 4 would go here. Let's set that out. And then let's start filling this out and see what happens. So, just like we normally do, and the grid method is very good for this, because you can check each part of your working if you feel like you've gone wrong somewhere. Um, the first box is x squared times x. So we've already got two x's being multiplied together to give us x squared. Now we've got a third coming in. That will give us x cubed, all right? So the three represents how many x's have been multiplied together. Three all together. The next box here, 5x times x. Well, 
there's no other numbers here. It's like almost saying like saying five times one is just five. But x times x is going to change to give us x squared. So the final bit for that is five x squared. And then the final box on this top uh, row is six times x, nice and easy. So that's going to give us six x. So that's the first um, row done. Let's move down a section. We're timesing everything by four now. So we've got x squared times four, which is four x squared. And we've got four times five x, which is going to give us, well, four fives are 20. So 20 x. And the last one is four times six, which is just 24. Everything's positive. Don't need to worry about some negative signs. And there we go. We've got all of our um, grid filled out. And then we just need to think about what can we add together when we write down our final solution. Well, let me get the highlighter out and let's have a think about things that go together. So we've got some X cubes. Are there any other X cubes in blue in the bits that we filled out? No, there isn't. Nothing to add to that then. I've got some X squares here and I've also got some X squares down here. So these terms here will be combined. All right, again, having trouble doing this neatly, but you get the idea. 4x squared plus 5x squared, well, that's going to give us 9x squared in total in our answer. Anything else? Well, let's have a look further down the line. We've got some x's again. All right, so I've got 6x there, and I've also got 20x down here. So these two parts are going to be added together to simplify to get 26x. And the last bit is just numbers. There's no other just numbers in our box, so that's it really. So the answer that we're looking at, let's go through what I, what I just said. So we've got x cubed. There were no x cubed to be added together. So we've just got one lot of x cubed. The x squared, well, 5 and 4 x squared makes 9 x squared. Let me just try and find the correct part there. So here we are. Here's the 9 x squared. The x's, well, we had 6 x and 20 x. I said that was going to make 26 x when we added them together. And then the numbers on the end, just 24 and they were positive. So that's it, that's the final answer. That is our final solution. We've simplified everything, we've expanded the three brackets. Um, I hope the method, it's only two steps to it really, do the first two brackets and then use that answer so in a bigger grid with the final bracket and then you can use the grid method like this. So let me give you an example to have a go at. Here's a practice question. Here are the three brackets. Follow the method, do the first two, put them in here, and then um, do the final one here with the answer. Pause the video, have a go, and see how you get on. I'll go through the solution in a couple of seconds. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Let's just um, go through and see what's going on when you multiply this. So the answers to this, hopefully, should look something like this, the first two brackets. Here's all the working for that. Hopefully that's straightforward. We've done quite a few examples of that now. So the answer to that would have been 8x squared plus, sorry, x squared plus 8x plus 15. And then you take that answer and you put it in a bracket up here and you multiply that against the final bracket. So set it out in your grid with your three terms at the top and your final bracket down here. Um, going through this, x squared times x is x cubed. 8x times x, x is 8x squared. 15 times x, 15x. x squared times 1, just x squared. 8x times 1, 8x, 15 times 1 is 15. The simplification bits, hopefully you've worked out that the um, these go together. So the x squ 8x squared and the 1x squared, that's 1x squared there, makes 9x squared. The x is, you've got 15x and 8x, which is 23x. And just numbers, it's just 15 on its own, so plus 15 tagged on the end. Hopefully that's given you an idea of how that works. I've got plenty more practice questions on the video for you to have a go at. So um, have a go at this question, pause the video and have a go at this and see what you get. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Um, there are some more examples. All right, so this is a second one with negatives. So pause the video, slightly more difficult. Have a go at this one. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. And then the final one I want you to have a go at is this one here. And this is with indices. So this is a slightly different question and it could come up. So bear in mind, I've put a warning over here. This is what you should be thinking when you see a bracket being cubed. It means times the bracket by itself three times. Three lots of the same bracket 
have a go at that one. The solutions will come up in a second. All right, hopefully you've had a go at those. Here are the solutions to those three questions. Um, I hope that's been useful. Um, please leave any comments or any anything you want if you want me to do some tutorials on stuff. Um, I hope that's been helpful. <laughs>